my dear sisters and brothers. Today we celebrate St. Teresa of Avila, one among four women to be declared Doctor of the Church, together with Catherine of Siena, Hildegard of Binham, and Teresa of, of Lycia, she is a doctor of the church. As you read through her autobiography, A Way of Perfection, or even her other classic, The Interior Castle, one notices three elements about her, three characteristics. First of all, she is a woman, and a woman's woman a very holy woman, a woman who did much, a woman for all season. That is the first thing. The second being that she is a contemplative, a mystic, someone that was always in union with God, with Christ and the Spirit. In fact, she would go on to say, that every human being is called to experience a greater intimacy with God. And she would go on to say that prayer is nothing but a friendly conversation with whom, who knows you and loves you, referring to Christ. She was a woman, she was a contemporary or contemplative, a mystic. But she was also a great reformer. She went about giving a clarion call to the Carmelite nuns to return to their origins, to go back to their roots. Return to basics was, so to say, her cry. And he led them to greater prayer, penance, and contemplation. These are the three elements that I admire the most in Teresa of Avila. And she also suggests three steps for getting closer to God in contemplation. As I said a little while ago, St. Teresa of Avila believed and taught that every human person is called to a greater intimacy and a personal encounter with Christ. And she wanted everyone to develop that rapport, go through the way of perfection, her autobiography, or the interior castle. They deserve a glance, and more than a glance. The three steps that she recommends are desiring to do the will of God in all things and at all times. Forget yourself, put God before you, and in all that you do, seek to do what God wants you to do. That was the first step. And the second is that in the process, you and I need to surrender ourselves, to abandon ourselves, to let go of ourselves in the arms of God, knowing that he will guide us, that he will lead us on seeking to do his will at all times, surrendering to his will, and finally, she would also recommend determination, perseverance, not giving up, being at it, hanging in there. In fact, she would call for a continuous and constant purification of oneself, and that is possible only by this determination or perseverance. And so, my dear sisters and brothers, as we go through this Eucharist, let's pray through the intercession of St. Fries of Avila that you and I will develop a rapport with Christ, that we will live in union with him, seeing him who is invisible. I'd like to conclude with a few words from her. Let nothing disturb you. 
let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Whoever has God lacks nothing. God alone suffices.